Singapore, a city-state just half the size of London and one of the most densely populated cities in the world. Once just a small seaport, this city built on trade is constantly evolving. By 2030, the self-proclaimed Garden City aims to be the greenest in the world, with 80% of its buildings, old and new, being eco-friendly. In the past, the main considerations were cost and value for money. Consequently, many of the cities are now concrete jungles. But here in Singapore, construction is changing, thanks to this man. He's building a greener future into the very fabric of the city. I'm Alan Lee, the founder and executive chairman of Elmich. Over 30 years ago, Alan quit the corporate ladder to start his own business, Elmich, an urban landscaping company with a sustainable outlook. OK, looks OK. Let's check another one. In the 1990s, with a growing interest in green roofs, Elmich started exploring the possibility of using recycled plastics. At its factory, recycled plastic taken off Singapore's streets and landfills is delivered in the form of pellets. The recycled material is made into building products. The use of recycled materials helps reduce the disposal of waste material and exploitation of new resources. Last year, the company used 4,000 tonnes of recycled plastic, saving around 23,000 cubic metres of landfill space. This, what you see here, is our drainage cell. It's our most popular product. The use of plastic drainage cells make the roofs lighter, giving it more flexibility. Since 2008, all new developments in Singapore have had to plant greenery within their design resulting in the city witnessing a boost in the number of green roofs and walls. Singapore is promoting urbanisation through technology and green building design. Not as an afterthought, but as a key building block of tomorrow's buildings. And Allen's company is leading the way with projects including one of the world's largest green walls and Southeast Asia's largest green roof at Universal Studios Sentosa. Singapore is a little island with limited space, but buildings is an important part of our landscape. I believe that with creative designs, we can create a world-class, sustainable environment. Just like the city in which he lives, Alan is always looking to the future. Well, I like to see a lot more eco-friendly buildings around, not just through the use of recycled materials, but also through renewable energy, additional greenery. 5% of the company's turnover is dedicated to research and development. Alan says that they currently hold over 160 patents and design registrations, innovating new products to stay ahead of the curve and drive sustainability in Singapore. I see my contribution as being able to design world-class products and making Singapore a much better place to live. Using recycled building materials is one way to make a city more green.